Welcome back, everybody. And here is a sure sign October is here. Buildings in downtown Pittsburgh turn pink overnight for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's to honor survivors, remember people lost to the disease, and to support progress in finding a cure. And look, we even have pink ribbon bagels here in the studio. So, David, yeah, look at that. You could show that off. They're it's awesome. They're just like a, a, a ribbon. Yeah, they're yeah. very cool. And starting today, all through October, you can buy these pink rimmed bagels at area Panera Bread locations. All of the proceeds will benefit the Young Women's Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation in support of the Cancer Caring Center. They're made with dried cherries and cranberries to give them their pink color. And vanilla and honey and brown sugar also to add some sweetness. And they look perfect right now because I'm Hungry. Me too. Me too. All right. Hey, another way to show your support is through the Lanterns of Hope event this Sunday. Like everything else, it has gone virtual this year. So go to the Young Women's Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation website to learn more about the event and also the good work that that foundation does in supporting young women on their cancer journey. And you will find the link for all of that at PittsburghTodayLive.com. And here's something really fun for October. Go pink yourself with a new do, just like PTL producer Jill Neely is here. She looks so good in pink hair. People and wonder what she looks like. This yes, is Jill. This, this is, is Jill. Jill. We always talk about Jill. <laughs> and Jill is actually coming up on being a five-year cancer survivor herself. And she's celebrating with pink highlights, compliments of Emilio at Azazu Salon, Spa, and Blowout Bar. Fantastic. And David, oh yeah, I got a chance to stop in to Azazu down Downtown and found out that this year it's a bigger trend than ever, in particular with women and men of all ages. And it's really for a great cause because it benefits hairpiece charities founded by Bonnie Diver to support cancer patients who lose hair during medical treatments. Uh, good morning, Selena. Good morning, David. Happy belated birthday, David. You know, we're here today uh, to help support Breast Cancer Month. And uh, pink is the color, so that's why we're pinking everybody. And um, so we'd like to start with uh, any of you who are out there that want to have a friend or a family member and you want to show your support to their battle. October is the month. Color your hair pink and show your support. So today we've got some great looks to share with you on how you can do just that. And we have it from all age ranges. Our first person is our lovely Alina. And Alina, she's smiling through that mask, by the way. She, we just, what we did, Annie did her color. And what's really cool about this, if she's nine years old and she wanted to show support for her, one of her family members. So we did little pink highlights. Annie did some pink highlights, peekaboo. We call them peekaboo highlights in the face frame. And then the other nice thing about this is she also did what we call dipping, where she dipped the ends of the hair in pink. And what's so cool about this is that when she decides that it's time to get rid of the pink after she supports, she can just simply cut and lop off those ends and still have a great look. She looks so good. Isn't that fun? I love it. Now tell us about Sophia. I love both of their looks. Yes, next we have Sophia. Now here, she's in high school. She goes to Mount Lebanon. Hi, those of you that know Sophia, this is Marty and Christine's daughter. And what's great about Sophia is we did more of what we call the sort of hybrid version where you can you can show it off or not show it off so in this case she has it underneath all of the hair and look how cool this looks because she could simply pull her hair up in a cool bun and then show her support but at the same time if she doesn't want to show anything and be more conservative she can do that as well yeah now uh, Emilio you you have two other great looks and I wanted to ask you too before we jump over to them about your products because you you're also donating some of the proceeds right that's one of the things too in order to support hairpiece charities you know one of the great things that Bonnie divers and they do is they um, help donate wigs to people so that's what we're raising money for so any of you out there if you go to any of the market district giant eagles Go to azazuhaircare.com, it'll tell you which ones. And if any purchases of Azazu Hair Care products at the Giant Eagles, we will donate a portion to Hairpiece Charities for every bottle through the whole month of October. Yeah, how about Nina here? She has a cool look. Yeah, so Nina, what we did now, Nina has a version of what you saw. Nina is a Duquesne um, college student, 
and she wanted to do something fun, but a little more like faded version of pink. So there's so many different versions of pink that you could do. But look, how cool is this for her to just go out on the town, pull her hair up, show her support, but yet when she's out doing her job, she can be very um, uh, conservative as well, right? Yeah. So that's Nina. And then next we have um, uh, our, what we call our natural pink lights. And what's great about this is this is a great way for you to do highlights throughout your whole head. And this was done by Maisie, and we thought she did a wonderful job here in regards to um, her look. And I got to tell you, the stylist did such a great job. When it comes to natural pink lights, she just simply teased the hair, then you highlight it, and then control it. And it has just a really great look all over. Emilio, so the pink here is not just for the ladies. Oh, no, it's for the men. Take a look at Marcus. And you know what? We have to get some over to you as well. I love that. I love that look, David. You could rock that. I could rock that? You could rock it. I don't know. You have, you have confidence in me. I'm not sure. He looked great. They, they all look so good. Yeah. And Jill looks awesome, too, by the way. Yeah, but if you does. don't want to go for that permanent look, they also have extensions. So you could just pop them right in and clip them, which is it's really fun. Right, and it's a great way to show your support without making the permanent change. It is. Yeah. I love extensions, so I would totally you rock would do these. That. Okay. Yeah, there absolutely. <laughs> but big thanks, of course, to Emilio and also to his partner, Gino, too, for doing this. And make sure to head to our website. You could check out where Azazu's website is and also we'll have a link for Hairpiece Charities on there yeah, too. Yeah, Hairpiece Charities, they do so much yeah, great work. Yeah, Bonnie's so awesome. Fantastic to support them. <laughs>